नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू आवर टेक्निकल चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन ए वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम अप्रोक्सीमेटली टेन मिनट्स आई विल कंसीडर दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज फार एज यू आर इन्वॉल्व इन सम इंजीनियरिंग और कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी इफ यू आर वर्किंग विद इट and uh, those who are associated with projects and planning and also in engineering also this video is very important for others if you are working in uh, for a construction or site job then also this video is extremely important for you because uh, whatever project plan or whatever uh, the life cycle for a given project is estimated it should be thoroughly understood by the site people also because final execution of that project is done by the site team and also those who are into the inspection uh, inspection uh, group also because once the construction is done uh, the plant goes for undergoes testing and inspection and then the final start up takes place so uh, we will start this video without delaying much and before again to start this video i request you to subscribe our channel uh, like and comment at the end of this video please put your valuable comments on how you felt about this video so this video is uh, going to be a turning point we are going to make a number of videos uh, for project management project management and how to do the best practices for planning so we are going to see that any project is uh, nothing but series of events whenever we have a project like for example uh, we can see here the project is divided into number of stages those stages are again divided into uh, phases and again those phases are again divided into activities and sub activities and when we complete all these like set of sub activities will constitute an activity set of activities say uh, 100 activities will constitute a phase and some n number of phases will constitute a stage so when we complete this we achieve something uh, which is a entire completion or a kind of given which is called as a sorry milestone so milestone is something that uh, which is achieved success and uh, normally the uh, companies who build their clients uh those bill billing takes place at after achieving a given milestone so to understand all this we have to understand what actually a project is so for every good practice uh for uh, every good practice you have to measure the development of a given project in terms of certain parameters measurement is very important so for example a project uh, is nothing but a linear progression of certain activities from point a to point b for example to explain you this concept we will try to and uh, we will uh, take the example of a bridge which is built over a river so initially there will be a conceptual idea that uh, we have to make a bridge over a given river and uh, when this idea comes to your mind so many planning has to be done to bring this in reality okay so for that we have to estimate certain number of years those years will be the schedule of the project like for example uh, if we have a 
this project of building a bridge over a river in that case we have to estimate the duration of this entire project suppose we consider it as 5 years so there will be 1800 days in our hand in this 1800 days we have to plan all the activities all the sub activities and at the end of this 1800 day uh, we expect that the bridge will be uh, commissioned at its desired location so if we are able to complete this uh, act, uh, if we are complete uh, able to execute this project in 1800 days then our efficiency work efficiency is 100% okay so we can understand this that whenever uh, there is a plan in our mind about uh, for example this project then in case of a bridge what will be the uh, key points which uh, you have to consider as a project uh, project management personnel first is that uh, what is the depth of the river what uh, is the properties of the soil these are the technical parts so the project not only considers the technical detail but commercial details and so many other uh, details which uh, we are going to have a overview of that we cannot go into much detail on that so uh, the uh, the soil properties uh, then uh, uh, what what about the length of the bridge how much will be the length so these are the very broad categories so after that uh, what will be the financial model so for 1800 days how much will be the total capital required for this project and at each day each uh, week what will be the financial liabilities means how much money we have to uh, plan for those given days at particular period so this is very important based on that a financial model is developed for all 0 to 1800 days so this is very important uh, because the uh, owner of that project has to make arrangement for this finance so uh, this is the financial model model at, at the same time there should be a procurement model also like from the start to end at what stage we have to order the material if we have to if we require those material if we require those some material at a given point like from 0 to 1800 days uh, suppose uh, on say 1000 day we require some material so we have to plan that in advance so all this is a procurement model so to understand this the complete project is nothing but small small activities which comes one after the other and some activities can go parallel also so for that we develop something uh, which is a map of the project that is called as the project plan and uh, uh, mostly we have the project plan it can be a map uh, wherein there are uh, and also a graph also where we represent everything Uh, based on time versus the activities so every activity has a defined time schedule in which it is expected to complete in order to achieve that target in the desired uh, completion in the in the desired duration so now moving forward we will see have a focus on how this uh, so this is the project life cycle diagram which i have made very simple so in the first case we have the basic engineering in basic engineering during the basic engineering there will be conceptual ideas on how that project will be like for example if we want to set up a gasoline plant so in that gasoline plant we have to do the basic engineering so in basic engineering uh, what will be involved is the what will be the basic process for that given plant uh, what will how much will be the input how much will be the output based on all the collection of this input we have to finalize certain model of a plant which is basically uh, the process calculations 
process calculations for uh, capacity of that plant uh, and that how many trains will be there so all this information will be identified during the basic engineering stage then comes the next stage that is the feed stage so in the feed stage what uh, will happen is that based on the basic uh, engineering we are going to produce options option a option b option c option d okay uh, it depends on how many options it is up to the client so during the feed stage feed is front end engineering and design so we will develop the option for this plant and each of the option will have its own pros and cons uh, based on the operation based on the price cost uh, and, and so many other factors are there so when the feed stage during the feed stage we can say uh, around 30 percent of the uh, project is completed because so many things uh, are finalized for option a option b option c okay we are going let's consider three options so and these three options are presented to the client uh, the client reviews these three options based on his requirement and what is available with us. Uh, availability of time, how much time uh, is available for each of the option, then the financial model, how much money is required for getting these three options. And based on that, uh, he selects one of the options which is the most uh, feasible for as per the uh, capital and the uh, uh, resources available to him so then suppose option b selected so the option b uh, the further detailed engineering takes place for that option considering that plan of option b the procurement of this uh, material which will be required at this detail engineering no material is required okay so but the procurement process starts right from the basic engineering because uh, the procurement people have to identify uh, the material which is uh, are there any exotic material so they have to make the arrangements for uh, those material uh, components of those material like some walls uh, or maybe some instrumentation uh, items so they have to make a list uh, during the from basic uh, engineering stage onwards and for the feed also detail engineering this uh, specifications and quantity of this material gets refined it becomes more and more uh, accurately available okay so uh, from 30 percent uh, 30 percent of the engineering we can expect that it is done during the feed stage so this uh, input maybe it is a 3d model maybe it is uh, some drawings preliminary drawings they are transferred to the detail engineering contractor so the job of detail engineering contractor is to take the design from 30% completion till 100% completion. Of course, uh, the feed model is not the 100% complete model, 30%, 100% because the detail engineering contractor has to review that 30% work. So that is why it is not approved for design approved for design status is not applicable for that model so uh, the detail engineering contractor has to review everything and check because the final ownership is with him not with the feed contractor so the detail engineering contractor reviews it the 30 percent completion and takes the project from 30 percent design stage of the project we are talking about the design stage of the project and in that stage we have some phases uh, then activities sub activities etc which we have seen in the earlier slide so detail engineering uh, feed is one of the milestone basic engineering is one of the milestone uh, and detail engineering is also milestone there are certain milestones within the uh, each of these uh, stage also okay uh, and uh, from 30 percent to 60 percent there is at every stage there is a review which is called as a project review nowadays uh, we have a 3d model of everything the entire plant 
so 30% model 60% model review 90% model review these are the terms which we come across frequently so after 60% model review uh, majority of the drawings uh, are dispatched and the shop fabrication starts from 60% so after that uh, we go with the construction and commissioning the shop fabrication takes place when the 60% model is uh, ready uh, from there onwards we do shop fabrication and uh, those items are again transported to the site where we uh, go with the commissioning and construction activities okay so once the plant is constructed uh, it is commissioned all the equipments are placed on their place then it is connected with the piping electrical instrumentation uh, and after that there, there is one more important stage that is the inspection and testing stage so this stage is nothing but there is a third party contractor which is uh, responsible to check and measure whatever output and the quality of that output which was promised by the contractors detail engineering contractor or the epc contractor in particular to the owner of that plant whether those uh, quality of output and quantity of output is as per the promise or not or as per the contract or not so that is the job of the inspection and testing company so they will do their job and submit a report uh, with some deviations if they are applicable of course there are some deviations but uh, up to certain limit only these deviations are permissible so uh, once the inspection and testing is okay then the startup and handover of the plant takes place so once the handover is done so the project is over so we have considered a project which is 1800 days completion time required so on the final day it is the startup and handover activity so this is all about the project life cycle i understand that because of the time constraint we cannot take a detailed description of each of these of course it is very interesting also and very important also to understand uh, if you have to be be a good project manager or a good planning person uh, you have to understand all these terms in minute and how it is related with your work okay because a good planning and project engineer's job is to execute that project as per the plan so whatever plan has been made for the duration of that project it should complete within that duration only if it is not then it is a failed project management and planning so again uh, i hope that you enjoyed this video so update us how you feel it in the comment section and uh, once again like this video without fail and share it share it with your friends and colleagues okay and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it please so once again thank you all for watching this video stay connected with us good day and bye for now thank you